हेलो एवरीवन आई शेफ संतोष मार्गोटी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट चितकारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी पंजाब कैंपस वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हैम एंड इन टुडे सेशन यू आर अगेन गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट शाकुटरी प्रोडक्ट मेड अप ऑफ पोर्क विच इज वाइडली इटन थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड एंड विच इज कॉल्ड एज बेकन by the end of the session you will be able to explain the term bacon elaborate the origin of bacon describe the steps involved in processing of bacon identify some of the popular bacon of the world bacon is a type of cured pork made from various cuts typically from pork belly or from less fatty back cuts it is eaten on its own as a side dish or used as a minor ingredient to flavor dishes bacon is also used for barding and larding roast especially game including venison and pheasants salted pork belly first appeared on dining tables thousands of years ago in china pork curing method spread throughout roman empire and even the bacon fat was used for cooking The word bacon derives from the French dialect including the old French bacon which refers to the back but the cut typically used to make bacon comes from the side or belly of the hog This slide explains the steps involved in the processing of bacon First the pork belly is separated from the carcass and it is deboned now the meat is ready to be cured it can be cured using a wet curing mix or a dry curing mix once the pork belly is cured it has to be rinsed thoroughly with cold water to remove any excess salt now it has to be hung for at least 12 to 24 hours and this period the surface of the pork belly gets dried and it helps to form pellicle and the formation of pellicle is essential prior smoking step now the cured pork bellies can be taken to smoking chamber for smoking purpose and once the pork bellies they are smoked they can be sliced and it can be grilled or baked before consuming in this slide we are going to discuss about some of the most popular types of bacon first is streaky bacon this is the most commonly used bacon and is obtained from the belly of the pig it is boned and then salt cured and smoked if the bacon is only cured and not smoked then it is referred to as green bacon next is prime bacon this is obtained from the belly part but does not have as much fat as streaky bacon the streaks of the bacon are formed due to the layering of the fat and the meat in the pig's belly this bacon contains some part of fatty belly and a larger part of loin next is pancetta pancetta is a type of italian bacon that is prepared from a cured belly of pork it is traditionally rolled and is available in the market as a roll or in dices next is guanciale guanciale is the cheek of the pig's meat when salt cured air dried and smoked it is commonly used in italian cuisine next is collared bacon the collar is the cut from the shoulder area of the pig the meat from the collar is salted and cured and then smoked it is called collared bacon if the entire shoulder is boned rolled cured and smoked then it, it is referred to as picnic ham or shoulder ham next one is canadian bacon it is a bacon obtained from the loin or back of the pig the process remains the same the meat is boned and then salt cured and smoked 
In this slide, we are going to discuss about some of the alternatives of bacon. First is turkey bacon. Turkey bacon is an alternative to bacon. People may choose turkey bacon over real bacon due to health benefits, religious laws, and other reasons. It is low in fat and food energy than bacon, but may be used in the similar way as bacon is used. The meat from turkey bacon comes from the whole turkey and can be cured or uncured, smoked, chopped, and reformed into strips that resembles bacon. Next is bacon. Macon is another alternative to bacon produced by curing mutton, uh, cuts of mutton in a manner similar to the production of pork bacon. Next is vegetarian bacon. Vegetarian bacon is also referred as facon, veggie bacon or bacon. It is a product marketed as bacon alternative. It has no cholesterol and is low in fat and contains large amounts of protein and fiber. This is all for the session and in the upcoming session you will learn about galantine. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.